Welcome to Two Dudes in a Review. Uh, I'm Matt. I'm Luke. And today's movie is Velvet Buzzsaw. It was about um, the like art scene and how like these really prestigious like art gallery sellers and buyers and stuff and then an artist dies who's like not known at all and his art gets released into the world and it's a bunch of haunted art and it starts like stalking the people that are selling it and buying it. Something we like to do on this show is guess each other's scores before the review happens and then after we say everything, we'll guess what the other person thought about it. So, uh... And the loser has to pick a punishment out of the jar, whoever's furthest away from the correct guess, uh, and do a punishment. My guess for Matt for this movie, I think he'll give it a 3.0 oh for his goodness. review. Um, I'm doing a change-up. Is that all right? Yes. Okay. Um, if you gave it something that low, then I'm going to guess that you gave it... A 5.2. All right. 5.2, 3.0. Let's see what happens. Um, all right, so let's hop into your thoughts on the movie then if you gave it such a low score. Or, well, if you think I'm going to give it such a low score. Well, I personally hated this movie. One of the worst I've ever seen in my whole entire really? life. I Yeah, I mean, I didn't like it. I thought the <laughs> acting was terrible. There's no plot throughout the entire movie. And just give you... A little bit of insight. Don't want to spoil it. If I do, it doesn't matter because you'd be wasting your time to go and see this. So, there's just a guy who's driving along and these paintings that he has just, I don't know, they kind of start doing some funky stuff. He crashes, <laughs> goes into a garage, and gets killed by a painting of monkeys that comes to life. Yeah, that was the first scene that we saw where the art like came to life mm -hmm. so first of all we didn't even know the movie was going to be about that at that point no. so all of a sudden these monkeys start mm -hmm. attacking this guy is just in, totally bizarre it's terrible we were I, cracking up like the whole time oh this it said that it was like a thriller at, underneath the category this was strictly a comedy <laughs> and they put it underneath the thriller section to get more laughs from it which that's great for the Producer, yeah, yeah, they're killing it. Killing yeah, the game. that was really thoughtful to do that. But I want to know who, like, they sat at a table. Hey guys, this painting of monkeys is gonna <laughs> come alive and just kill this guy out of nowhere. Yeah, like, was it supposed to be scary? And then people are like, "I'm with you. I'm with you." Yeah. And then like they tried making it scary by playing like some ominous music. You know, it didn't make it scary at all though. And yeah, the whole I hated movie. It. The whole movie was totally bizarre. It was never scary. It was never thrilling, really. But some of the problems I had with it, like you said, were the acting. Mm -hmm. And it was like everyone was acting in a different movie, honestly. Like, none of their characters, like, meshed with each other well. And, like, uh, Jake Gyllenhaal especially just didn't even belong in that movie. And he's the main character, kind of. I guess it's probably the woman, the... Um, I'd say, like, co-stars yeah. almost in it. But he's just, he doesn't even belong in the movie. And he's, like, the guy who figures out the whole paintings are haunted. Um, another problem I had was that um, I didn't even, like, know what the story was until, like, an hour into the movie, which is, like, what you were saying with the monkey. Um, that's when you first figure out that these paintings are haunted. And... Um, Man. It's like an hour in the movie. The painting monkey also wasn't even like... It was just a painting that was in a garage and nothing to do with <laughs> oh, the, the, haunted. the haunted paintings. You're right. The monkey one was just a monkey painting in a garage. Yeah. And I'm, I was really let down by this movie because it's starring Jake Gyllenhaal, and I love Jake Gyllenhaal, and it's the director of the movie Nightcrawler, which I loved that movie. So I was like pretty stoked for it. Pretty cool cover, I think, too, on Netflix, like the case. Um, it is on Netflix if you want to go watch it. Uh, it's a good laugh if you're having friends over. Um, but other than that, I probably wouldn't watch it. Matt, did you like it? Uh, no. Luke, did you like it?
Hell no. <laughs> And now it's time to reveal our ratings and see who was closer. The big moment. Um, so this is... Wait, let me see. Just to re for yeah. Matt, I guess that he would have a 3.0. Wow. I guessed... Six, wait, wait, I guess 5.2? Is that what I said? Yeah. And you gave it a 2.7. And you gave it a 6.2. I was 3.2 off. Wow. And I was, what did I say? Six, five, point two. Yeah. So, two point five plus two point five. Yeah, it's two point five off. And I, and I, and you were what? Three point two. Yeah. Okay, it's pretty close again. Our scores. Yeah, pretty 0. close. Seven off. That's what it was after the, the last episode. Um, okay. So, come back to our next episode to see who gets the final punishment. And thank you for watching this one. Like, subscribe. See you later.